Welcome back to Universe Mode and the first official episode of NWA Power. We recently saw the debut of Stampede and here on Power we are reining in some brutality with the return of former women's champion Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley taking some time away from the NWA brand over the last season. She feuded heavily with Bianca Belair during the first NWA season and she said that recently the landscape of the women's division has changed greatly and she is determined to be on top of it. The crowd there with the Rhea's gonna kill you Chan! And Chelsea Green right off the bat just launched Rhea Ripley. Oh, and Ripley battling back with a big boot. Good God almighty. But we are fresh off of NWA Stampede. Saturday Night Stampede. This is NWA's Thursday Night Power Hour. Hosted by the WWE. We're going to be having both shows, but... Power is going to be roughly double the length of Stampede. Chelsea Green creating a little bit of room between her and Ripley now. Oh my god, but it didn't matter. It just gave Ripley an opportunity to recuperate. Oh, 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 Ripley went for something. Hit her with a super kick instead and showing off for the camera. And Ripley with a big forearm strike, followed, went for the drop kick. I'm gonna say followed by the drop kick, but she didn't hit it into the mat slam. That face buster there from Chelsea Green, and oh my days, Rhea Ripley with ease there, just throwing around Green's body. Oh, and a brutal headbutt! <laughs> Holy shit! Ripley not phased in the slightest by Chelsea Green. Oh, look at this. Electric chair position into the face buster. She almost got caught on the ropes there. That was a dangerous one. And Ripley bringing Green to her feet. Kick to the midsection. We've seen this plenty of times before. Right on the logo in the middle. There's a riptide. Referee one, two. And a decisive and dominant win for Rhea Ripley. Riptide right there. Away from the ropes. Green had nowhere to go, nothing to grab, and no effort to kick out. Ripley wins her return match to the NWA. Is she going to go after the World Championship, or has she got her sights on the women's TV belt? Next up, and we've got a follow-up of the Tag Division Triple Threat Turmoil match that we had between Pretty Deadly, Los Lotharios, and Gallus, because Gallus took the pinfall during that match, and both Joe and Mark Coffey have asked our new general manager, who I'll confirm who that is in a second, they've, com uh, they've convinced the GM to give them a regular tag match opportunity. And uh, I say our new GM. Our GM's still Nigel McGuinness, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel McGuinness was only the GM for a month, so of course he's coming back, and uh, he's got full control over both Power and Stampede now. Former Super Junior Champion Johnny Gargano and his teammate Tommaso Ciampa. Johnny Gargano has been asked about his obvious rematch for the Super Junior Championship against Dirty Don Mysterio. Gargano has stated that for the time being, he sees his future set in the tag division and set beyond being a single superstar. So here we go, Mark Coffey and Tommaso Ciampa. And Coffey starting this bout with... A kick to the midsection and a clubbing blow to the back of Champa into the deadlift. Very nice. Oh, look at this. The confidence right into the bicycle knee. 
We've got a lot of new competitors that are going to be season regulars moving forward. And uh, it's also... It's in the discussions right now as to what the first pay-per-view for this season will end up being. There's some collaboration from the WWE. New pay-per-views becoming available, new pay-per-view names. A lot of the old ones now available, such as like Armageddon, No Way Out, Backlash. But we don't know which ones Nigel McGuinness will end up using. Look at this, look at this. This octopus stretch there from Gargano to Mark Coffey in the corner. Oh, Coffey with a clubbing forearm. Launching Gargano, got a, a clear strength advantage there against Gargano. We, of course, saw the return of Will Ospreay, world champion, on NWA Saturday Night Stampede. When he attacked Tyler Bate quite brutally in that main event match. The match really should have been called off, but Bate insisting on continuing that match. Oh, look at this, the athleticism there. Oh my god, and very quickly, the tag made to Champa. And Champa charging in, going after Joe Coffey, who's now the legal man. But as I was saying, Tyler Bate and Osprey were brawling. But it very quickly became just an assault on Tyler Bate. We don't know what condition Tyler Bate is in after that match. We know that he's uh, received medical attention. And he's definitely suffering from some injuries, but we don't know as to what extent. You know, will he be back in a week or so? Will he be back in a month? We don't... It could even be longer. We have no idea, but dastardly tactics there from Will Ospreay sending a message to Pete Dunne. Oh, and Joe Coffey launching a European uppercut into the corner. Joe Coffey said himself he wouldn't mind challenging for the World Championship at some stage, but he's well aware that he's going to make a name for himself, yet to have a, uh, a singles match, I believe. Or rather, he's had uh, at least one, but one's not going to be enough. Tag made back to Champa with the leaping lariat. Almost takes their head off of Joe Coffey. A DIY have been fully in control of this match against Gallus. DIY taking this bout to the outside. DIY would love to take on... Good God! That powerbomb into the final flash knee strike. DIY would love to take on Aussie Open for the Tag Team Championships. With the current scenario with the, uh, the women's champion Tony Storm and... Tag champions, Aussie Open, and of course Shane Hayes, the national champ. With those champions currently absent and their their reigns frozen in place, there's no telling whether or not it'll be the first pay-per-view, the second pay-per-view, maybe even the third pay-per-view by the time we get around to having those matches. Champa hit him with that slap and he retaliated with a big boot, look at this, Armringer into the choke slam, slams down Champa. Champa goes down like a sack of potatoes. And he's just launched Champa into the corner. Tag made to Joe Coffey. The Coffey brothers could be onto something here. Another double elbow strike, and this time they don't let the member of DIY take the tag. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Clutching the fingers together, that beautiful butterfly suplex. Launching Champa over his head, but Champa stops Joe Coffey in his tracks. Champa's gonna try and get the tag, but he's deciding not to. Instead, could be looking for the fairy tale ending, but Joe Coffey blocks it. Oh, 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 oh. Champa, Irish whip. Oh, and he tries to catch Coffey. Coffey went for the crossbody and. Champa moved out of the way into the face buster. Oh, and Mark deflecting with that forearm strike. Referee's got to try and control what's going on here. Oh, and a good buster GTS. Just laid out Mark Coffey. Look at Joe Coffey with these abdomen strikes to Champa. Oh, my God. And a, a tussle here. Oh, and a quick European uppercut evens out. The playing field for Joe Coffey. Coffey. Whoa, with the send-off. 
just tore Gargano, uh, tore Gargano, tore Ciampa in half. And there's a discus clothesline. And Coffey turning his attention to Gargano. Gargano threatening Joe Coffey. And look at Mark. Mark just tried to attack Gargano. Gargano goes down. And a Superman forearm there. Oh, went for the lariat. Champa with the reversal. Oh, and launches Coffey out of the ring. Look at Mark wailing away on Gargano. And Champa's trying to get to his tag partner. I don't know how Champa has managed to turn the tide of this match. The Coffees look like they had a strategy, but it's fallen apart. Oh my god! Discus Lariat just wiped the head of Champa clean off. One, two, and that is it. The Coffees have just put down DIY. The Discus Lariat. Wait, that's Pretty Deadly's music. Oh, Pretty Deadly coming out as Shadow Monsters, apparently, on the stage. Next up, and we have two new debuts for NWA Universe Mode. We've also got confirmation of the first pay-per-view in conjunction between WWE and the NWA as Baron Corbin makes his debut here tonight on NWA Power. Nigel McGuinness has confirmed after the announcement that he will be staying on as general manager. The first pay-per-view will be WWE and NWA presents Elimination Chamber. For the first time in NWA Universe Mode, we're going to be having a full pay-per-view dedicated to the Chamber match. We've had two Chambers before, one for the Women's Championship and one for the Junior Championship. But this time, we're going to be having multiple on one card. And Corbin is going to be taking on... Again, a man that was in the old... Oh, this Trons aren't working. <laughs> in the old era of Universe Mode, but hasn't appeared yet in NWA Universe Mode. Andrade Cien Almas. Both Almas and Corbin could be looking to go to the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. In the upcoming weeks and the future Stampede episodes, we're going to be getting some more information on the current scenario with the tag team division as Kyle Fletcher has confirmed that he'll be back in action. However, his tag team partner, Mark Davis, received an injury during the TLC match and they've been trying to figure out with contract negotiations how it's going to work with the tag team championships, but... We've got some, uh, we've got some time before we can we can delve into that a little bit further. Of course, Paul Heyman, being a strong advocate for the Empire as of late, I'm sure he's been doing some work. Lovely springboard drop kick there from Andrade, who takes down Baron Corbin. Oh, Corbin with the block, knee to the midsection, went for the big right hook, but Andrade with a reversal. Look at this. Setting up for a suplex, swings it into a brain buster. Lovely little helter skelter there from Andrade, and a kick out just past the one fall there for Corbin. Corbin, not exactly a uh, a fan favourite, it's safe to assume there. From the response that he's receiving, and an absolutely picture perfect springboard drop kick there from Andrade, but a quick kick out from Corbin. The lone wolf with the kick out there and Andrade going to try and body slam him but Corbin got a huge size advantage over Andrade in tonight's bout. Not going to let him, there's the reversal into the spinning soul kick to the midsection of Andrade and look at it, he's got the grip on the throat. 
dropping down Almas. We also got tonight's main event confirmed by general manager Nigel McGuinness. Kick to the midsection there by Almas. We could be moving closer towards that main event. Hammerlock DDT. One, two, and a bang on the two. Corbin managed to get the shoulder up there off of that Hammerlock DDT. As I was about to say, uh, tonight's main event, the confirmation from general manager McGuinness that uh, the, the international championship will be the belt returning. It won't be the TV belt, which puts it in line with the national. So the rules that we had set out in the first episode going to be tweaked ever so slightly as the national and international both on the same, the same footing. Look at Corbin straight back in the ring with a misdirection clothesline. So now current international champion Bronson Reed, if he can defend that belt seven times, he's going to get a world title opportunity. This is a massive, massive change for that division. Puts it a lot more in line with the national championship and with national champion Shane Hayes, who will hopefully be returning for the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Big boot there from Andrade. Corbin back to his feet, but got immediately clotheslined by Almas. Big overhead strike attempt. The back and forth from these superstars. Oh my god. What a hell of a strike fest from these two. Look at Corbin with the big haymaker. Takes down Andrade. Oh, 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 oh. Irish whip. Oh my god. And he got dumped with the tornado DDT. He tried to set Andrade up for something, possibly a back body drop, and Andrade said no way Jose, and came straight back down with that Tornado DDT, dumping Corbin on his dome. Big drop kick to the lower spine of Corbin. Look at Corbin though, grabbing the foot of Andrade. Andrade's pissed off Corbin. Dragging him back to his feet. Look at this. Oh, and the strength from Andrade, followed by the roundhouse kick. Absolutely brutal and beautiful. And look at this setting up Corbin. Another hammerlock DDT. But Andrade's down. He's trying to make it to the cover, but he just hasn't got the energy. Can he make it? And he does. He's made it to the cover, but Corbin's been down for a while. Two, and again, bang on the two count. Corbin gets the shoulder up off of that DDT. This means so much to Corbin. He's powering through these heavy attacks. Oh, both men bumping into the middle of the ring. DDT, Corbin turns the tides. And look at Corbin retreating to the outside. He needs a moment after all of that chaos. Look at this now. Both men back in the middle of the ring. Facing off. Irish whip. Oh, the reversal from Andrade. Big Larry full around there from Corbin. Oh, 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 oh. Andrade went for something. But Corbin cut him off. And then Andrade cutting off Corbin. Into the deep six. Dumps down Andrade. Andrade slowly getting to his feet. Oh, my God. Irish whip. Went for a, a leaping clothesline. Reverse soul kick there. Into the end of days from Corbin. One. Two. Oh my god. And a 2.5 kick out there from Andrade Almas. On that end of days. Look at this. Andrade groggy on the ropes. Corbin sends him tumbling to the outside. With that clothesline. Corbin not happy at all with the fact that Andrade is staying in this after that end of days. Corbin's put in so much effort to kick out of those hammerlock DDTs. That signature move from Andrade. Corbin now struggling to get Andrade into the ring. And Andrade with a reversal sends Corbin into the ring. Corbin having to use the ropes to get back to his feet. Corbin who's looking very Bam Bam Bigelow-esque as of late with that big right hook. 
to Andrade's chin. Just took him down. Oh, 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 oh. Reversal Irish whip into the corner. Look at this now. Andrade going to the middle rope. Going to the top rope. Oh, my God. And a split-legged moonsault. Absolutely beautiful from Andrade. Catches him. End of days to Andrade. One. Two. Oh, and they are two apiece now. Both men have kicked out of the other's finisher twice. Look at Corbin's face. I have no idea when he got busted open, but that explains why Andrade was targeting Corbin with those knee strikes. The whole side of Corbin's face is covered in blood right now. Oh, 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 oh. Corbin thrown to the outside. Still steps, though, in his way. He's darted back in on the same side. Taking advantage of Andrade, who was back down to his knee. It overexerted himself a little bit there. Oh, 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 Corbin. With the strikes again. Launches him into the deep six. The crowd fully behind both of these men at this point from the performance that they've been putting on. This is incredible, and Corbin calling Almas to his feet. This could go either way. A big right hook reversal there. Andrade again trying to pick up Corbin, but Corbin's not going to let him. And these two men now trading blows. Who is going to be the first to, to topple? Oh, Andrade gets a second in and a third. Andrade... Fighting against Corbin. Oh my god, look at the forearm strikes. And now, Hammerlock DDT. Corbin goes down. One, two, and that is it. Three count from Almas. Corbin is down. Holy shit. It broke down to trading blows and Andrade capitalised those alternating forearms. What a match. What is going up? Osprey is here for this next match. Ruining the return of Shinsuke Nakamura who still Injured and look at this confrontation. What is Osprey doing? Osprey, who we know that brutal brawl between him and Tyler Bay. Oh, 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 he's gonna sit on the barricade. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. What's gonna happen there as we go into the match? He's fine. He's fine. So anyway, holy Moses! Shinsuke Nakamura, who, good God Almighty, got uh, <laughs> injured back at Kingdom Come, now wearing that face mask, with uh, the confirmation of Elimination Chamber being a thing, Will Ospreay will be putting his championship on the line inside the Elimination Chamber. And this match between Shinsuke Nakamura and Adam Cole is a qualifying match for that chamber. So I'm not surprised that Osprey has come out here tonight to watch this match. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, Nakamura wearing that face mask. He's, he's had to in order to be cleared for in-ring competition. Otherwise, he would be missing out. And uh, Osprey has been quite... The, uh, the 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 snarky git online saying that Pete Dunn is having to use his number one contendership that he he got off of Nakamura in that chamber match. Look at this Nakamura with the right hooks. The crowd behind Nakamura. Look at Osprey and Osprey just knocked out Nakamura. Referee's calling for the bell. Holy shit. And Adam Cole quickly getting out of the ring, but he's just... That counts as a disqualification on behalf of Adam Cole. 
Oh my god, and a snap German suplex. And look at this now, look at this. Osprey leaping over the top and Nakamura with a sidestep. Oh my god, and this brawl continues on the outside into the knee strike. Absolutely brutal. Nakamura and Osprey back in the ring. Big right hook from Nakamura. Chops from Osprey. These two have plenty of unfinished business. We just now need to get Pete Dunne into the mix. Oh my god, and a brutal face wash to Nakamura. That injured nose of Nakamura. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Kick there from Nakamura. Nakamura with a, with a strikes. Kick to the midsection. Takes down Osprey. There's the sliding knee to the abdomen. Nakamura. Setting Osprey up. The aerial assassin going aerial with that inverted power slam. Nakamura dumps him down. Holy shit. Oh, look at this. Look at this submission hold. Submission hold on Osprey. Osprey struggling, trying to, grip, trying to grip the ropes, trying to pull himself out of the ring and away from Nakamura. But Nakamura's got one hell of a grip on him with this triangle hold. Osprey struggling. Oh, and Osprey forced to tap. Nakamura proving a point there. Making Osprey tap out, quickly getting Osprey back to his feet, though, launches him into the turnbuckle. Keeping the assault, he's gone after the arm of Osprey. Oh, and he's still targeting it. Still going after it. Look at this vintage Nakamura setting up Osprey with a knee strike on that top turnbuckle. Osprey fighting back as the referee has got no intention of stopping this brawl between these two and the crowd want it to continue. Look at Nakamura! Oh! Went for the Kinshasa but Osprey with the reversal. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, the hidden blade to the side of the head! Holy shit! And that is a warning sent to Nakamura. So that does mean that Nakamura will be going to the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view and hold up a second. She's back. Timeless Tony Storm has returned. And as she claims... Her women's division is in shambles. She defeated Awesome Kong at Kingdom Come. What a mouthful. The timeless Tony Storm less than impressed with uh, the fact that we're going to be having Elimination Chamber because that means we're going to be having a women's chamber and timeless Tony Storm is going to have to compete in it, which I'm sure that she is not best pleased about. But, you know, it's Tony Storm. She'll show up and she'll put on a show. Fia Hale gonna make an impression for us of herself tonight for the crowd as we get closer to... Oh my god, the main event. Look at those face busters there by Fia Hale taking down the timeless Tony Storm. Tony Storm who defeated Charlotte Flair for that championship. Earlier tonight, we saw the return of Rhea Ripley as well. Look at this from Fia Hale. Sending Storm to the outside. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Fia Hale looking for a high-risk move early in this match. And it pays off as Storm goes flying into the barricade. Oh, and Storm's not looking good. Storm's not looking good on the outside of the ring here tonight. Oh, and she moves out of the way of that standing moonsault. She's going to the middle turnbuckle. Oh my god, and the referee! She's just kicked Fia Hale straight into the referee. Tony Storm now with a chair. What does she have in mind? Oh my god! Launching the chair at Hale. Oh, kicks the midsection. Hale's gonna fight back with a forearm strike. 
Oh, 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 went for the arm ringer. Storm with the reversal, kicks the midsection. Looking for that eye of the storm. Good God almighty, she's just dumped down feet. And it's not eye of the storm at all. It's probably a storm zero. And what is she saying to her? She's saying something to Fia Hale. Oh my God. Another driver from Storm. Two. Oh, good grief. And Fia Hale <laughs> has managed to kick out. This is way more fight than I think Tony Storm expected Fia Hale to have. But what a fantastic debut from this plucky rookie. Look at that glare that Tony Storm has just given Hale. Irish whip. Hale drops down. Catches Tony with the arm drag. And dumps Tony down. Oh, standing moonsault. Very nice. Tony Storm being brought back to her feet. Oh, and a big forearm strike. Kick to the midsection. Storm Zero there from Tony. Looking to put away Fia Hale. Looking for another pile driver. Holy shit. Tony Storm. Two with a statement there. She puts down Fia Hale. Hold up. The lights have gone out. Where have the lights gone? What is happening? Oh! <laughs> awesome Cog is returned on a choke slam to Timeless Tony Storm. So, main event time, and we have a championship match. I think, I hope, it should be. <laughs> We've got Carmelo Hayes. It's for the championship, even if the game has decided it isn't. Carmelo Hayes with some very, very angular collar there. It is a championship match. Very nice. Carmelo Hayes, former champion, using his rematch clause here tonight. Though he won't be alone. It is a triple threat. And of course, Nigel McGuinness, who was very impressed at how good Austin Theory did in that first initial match of NWA Universe Mode. He's given him this opportunity. This will be the final international championship match before we get to the pay-per-view at the very least. Because we don't know if there's going to be an international chamber yet. Austin Theory, who could become the first man to hold the World Championship, the National Championship, and the International Championship here tonight. He's just a tag team championship away from being our first ever Grand Slam champion. And the man that defeated Carmelo Hayes on that debut episode... The international champ, Bronson Reed. Bronson Reed shocked the WWE Universe when he won that NWA international belt. From Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes becoming the shortest reigning champion. That could alter here tonight because Reed could become the shortest reigning champion. Carmelo Hayes, Austin Fury, and Bronson Reed. These three men have been very, very impressive over the back end of last season and the start of this season. Right off the bat, suplex from Fairy to Carmelo Hayes. And Carmelo just took down Bronson Reed with a brutal clothesline there. Went straight after Fairy in the corner, of course. As per our new season rules, this is an elimination match. Oh, 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 oh. And a tussle between all three men now. 
Austin Fury went for a DDT but just got launched into a back body drop and here comes Carmelo Hayes as both Carmelo and Fury seem to be teaming up on Bronson Reed the champ. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, Fury wriggles out of it, clubbing blow to the back and a leaping forearm strike and Hayes just turned on Fury. Irish whip to Fury, dodging out of the way. Oh, and a snap suplex. Very nice. Oh, and another back body drop there from Bronson Reed. Oh, and he turned around right into the chair shot from Carmelo Hayes, who's wailing away with that chair, but Bronson's powering through it. Holy shit, and Fury... Fairy's got a table. What in the world is he doing with that table? <laughs> we don't need a table in this. Oh my god. Look at that leaping seated hip attack there from... From Reed. Just dropped all of his weight down on Carmelo. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Uh Bronson. Bronson. Oh, looked like he was gearing up to send Fairy through that table. He just turned around and totaled Hayes. Oh my god! Fairy just launched the chair at Carmelo. Irish whip. Oh, 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 a little bit of a miscommunication. Not what. Oh, Fairy had planned. Oh my god, and Carmelo almost went through that table but managed to avoid it on that fall down to the, the ringside area. There's Reed now back in this thing. Disposing of Austin Fairy. With a Death Valley driver, very nice. Oh, 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 Fury. Fury setting up Reed. Oh, drop kick and Reed just went through the table. <laughs> Holy shit. And he almost landed on Hayes, who's looking under the ring. He's got a kendo stick and he's just absolutely totaled. Bronson Reed with it. This duel on the outside. Oh my god, he split the kendo over the head of Reed. And this has almost become a competition between Fairy and Hayes. Oh, and Fairy. <laughs> Fairy tried to launch the chair out of the ring. Whoa, look at the leapfrog. Good god almighty. And he's caught Carmelo. Dumps him into that patella brain buster. Fairy now, lifting up Hayes, ATL, going for the pinfall, Reed is back to his feet, two, oh and Carmelo with the kick out, uh oh, uh oh, and Reed is going straight for Fairy. Fairy trying to deflect, trying to keep Reed away, with these overhand strikes. Oh my god, into a code breaker. Absolutely beautiful. Fairy? Where is Fairy going? I've no clue. He's going to the top turnbuckle. Oh, and he went. Oh my god, he went for Hayes. Missed, got super kicked. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. Oh, sliding shoulder strike there from Fairy. To Reed, look at this combination. There's the super kick. Oh, and here comes Carmelo. Oh, Carmelo got caught into that German suplex. And Fairy trying to back Reed up into the corner. Oh, look at these jabs. Jabs from Fairy. Oh, straight into the chop block from Hayes. Hayes wants to reclaim that championship, become a two time international champion. Launching Fairy into the corner. Look at this now. Body slam takes Fairy down, setting him up perfectly for whatever it is that Carmelo's got in mind. Could be looking for that top rope famouser. Oh my god! Fairy caught him, going for the pinfall. Two! Oh, and Carmelo with the kick out. Austin Fairy just caught Carmelo Hayes. In a bleeding power bomb. Off of that top rope famous, so that was beautiful. Oh. 
Fairy trying to recuperate on the outside of the ring while Bronson Reed just dumped down Carmelo Hayes. Where is Reed going? Reed going to the top rope. See Fairy. Oh my god, the big tsunami off the top. And Hayes moved out of the way, went straight towards Fairy, who he saw lurking in the corner. Reed back to his feet. Reed back to his feet. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Fairy with the inverted DDT. Followed by the drop kick from Hayes. Oh my god. I. Oh! <laughs> what in the world was that? Oh, but Fairy's kicked out of it. Fairy's kicked out of it in a surprising one fall. Holy shit. Roll up. Roll up to Hayes. One, two. Oh, and Hayes with the kick out. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, this has been amazing. I really want to see a chamber between these men now. Clothesline from Fury. Roll through. Into the blockbuster. Very nice. And he's got the chair. Oh my god. <laughs> and he's just launched the chair at Carmelo Hayes. ATL from Fury. One. Two. Oh, and Reed with the kick out. He stays in this match and remains as champion. Carmelo, caught by Fairy, dumped down by Fairy. Oh my days. <laughs> this is insane. Where is Bronson taking Fairy? Look at the strength on display. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Straight into it though. Oh, right on the bin. And here comes Carmelo taking the head off of Bronson Reed. Oh, stomping on the foot of Fairy, trying to keep him grounded. Look at this, Austin Fairy. ATL to Carmelo Hayes. Referee one, two. And Carmelo's been eliminated. Oh, big pump kick to Bronson. Holy shit. Fairy up top. Oh my god. Look at these. Back and forth blows. Uh oh. Dumping down Fury on his head. Read out of nowhere. Two. And he's retained. Holy shit. What an absolutely fire main event. And Bronson Reed is still your international champion.